Hello, and welcome to something very different. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the distinction of canon and legal canon. And they're going to be effectively two opposing goals. And we'll go into it as goal-oriented elements. So, the first one, canon, which is a goal, in a way, for a number of different things, such as fans who are interested in a setting, be it a book, movie, video game, um, a sport, what have you. It is the things that they are interested in and willing to pay money for and to invest time in. And then there are the things that they aren't, which as far as a lot of fans are concerned, aren't canon. This is very similar to if you uh, read any degree of... Uh, comics let's just say there are a number of storylines out there that while legally canon as far as the fan base and the people who are most important in that the people who buy things are concerned are not and they are not ever dredged up unless the uh, the writer wants to guarantee a really bad sales run now the other goal is what i refer to as legal canon and that is the IP holder and usually the creator now most of these companies that we talk about are not the creators they are just simply the IP holder uh, Disney is uh, notorious for referring to it as their own products but hey what can we say the goal for them is to create a product in which they consider part of the ongoing canon to keep people invested in and to get them to do one of the most important things because it's not a charity case no matter what people think to make money money is required to keep these things going and for anyone wise enough it's also something good to feed your family with now, I'm not saying to feed your family cash, but you know what I mean. The two goals are not always at odds, but in recent years, uh, we have seen it. Because we have seen a rise of people who do not value the sustainability of these settings and these hobbies and these uh, forms of entertainment and or leisure. You have people who do not care about the profit, air quote, the viability of the thing going forward, and simply want to force their agenda. They value people who don't actually buy the product in any regard, and consider them as important as the people who do buy, buy the thing as don't. And that's the issue. So, a company has every legal right and capability to determine what is and isn't within their setting. Now, as long as they have the legal right over that setting. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with them producing a product, putting it out there and going, please purchase it. There's also nothing wrong with them producing a product and then telling you to go to hell. Um, the problem becomes in this regard is that, yes, fans do not have say per se in a business sense of what is and isn't canon but they do have every capability of having the heckler's veto aka not spending money and most importantly since we know that as far as anything's in turn that there are two forms of investment from a fan base that keeps something in or something viable and that is time and money and without those things the item in question is never sustainable now this is important in that lots of different settings have things that are canon but are not recognized by the fans and not usually dredged up in recent years we have seen people who repeatedly dredge up their own fan fiction and then try to shove it down the fan base's throats which we could just say Let's be generous here and say uh, Star Trek and Star Wars are very notorious, uh, especially under Disney with Star Wars. And I'll give you a little story to kind of um, highlight this. I enjoy the original Dune book by Herbert. 
I do not like any of the later books he wrote. I don't consider them in my own personal canon, and I am not willing to pay money for those other books. And I'm sure not interested in any of the stuff that's been produced by the IP holders now that's expanded on the universe. Therefore, as far as I'm concerned, it's not canon. And I'm not willing to spend money. Now, that doesn't mean that other people aren't. And they have made some money off it. It's just that in this example, I, as a person who enjoyed the original Dune book, do not consider the rest of the uh, items to be part of the canon as far as I'm concerned. Now, I can have arguments with people all day, but I am not taking a legalistic stance on it. Legally, all of those books by Herbert and later the IP holders are considered legal canon. It just means I'm not willing to give them money for it. And I'm not willing to invest time to generate enthusiasm in other people to help sustain it. Now, they have had some success with those books, and I've heard some good about them. But that's neither here nor there. The next example is this. Look at Disney Star Wars in this regard. It is something that has been produced. It's been told to you that this is legal and this isn't, and we have seen the response from the customer by not turning over their money. Go to any Target, Walmart, Ollie's. I'm sure there's some gas stations out there, and you will find piles and piles of Disney Star Wars toys that no one cares about. And you're even starting to see it with some of the classic original trilogy characters. They are rejecting giving the fans what they would consider canon and be interested in giving them money because they are more interested in shoving their opinion and their desired legal canon down your throat. Now, it is legal. It is a product out there. It just means that most people are choosing not to purchase it. Now, any sane company would go, all right, well, we need to change course. We need to ditch this. We need to move to something on else. But Disney, the rat corporation, is not very good at, you know, basic business concepts. It'll take them a long time to correct. And I probably not fast enough to save Star Wars. And I would say that this is very similar to a number of settings. We've seen it in 40K. Games Workshop tells us there's Femstodies. Okay, well... It would have been less of a thing if you had just said, oh, well, we decided to add this uh, because they're, the custodes are slightly different than the Space Marines. Okay, cool. Uh, I might not like that, but hey, at least that's not lying to my face and telling me I'm the one that's wrong. And that's where the real problem became. Also, I would point out to all the people who like to attack the, the fans and the people who actually have protested it, where are those Femstodes heads? Where are those Femstodes models? The company doesn't believe in these things because they understand to even the degree that Games Workshop is able to understand that they wouldn't sell. Or they wouldn't sell enough to make it worth molding or to make the molds for. And I think that tells you everything. It is a throwaway virtue signal in which they understand that it might be legally canon. But the fans, by and large, are not going to accept it. It's not going to sell well enough. And therefore, it's just something in a book that people will forget in the next 5 to 10 years. And I guarantee you, in 3 years, when they bring out the next edition, they're probably not going to care then. Now, that doesn't mean that they won't throw another line in there or do something else stupid. But I... I look at it very simply. Games Workshop might virtue signal, but they care only about bilking you as for as much money as they can. Which is something that Disney also does, but they're so unwise in the way that they handle their product that they're burning the bridge on both sides. Whereas GW is just cutting the ropes supporting the bridge and then hoping they can charge you enough before it falls down. So... Of course, 
for the people who don't understand that this is not encouraging people to do anything illegal. No, I'm not telling people that they have any right to steal anything or to choose their canon and publish books for it or anything like that. I am simply making the statement that, and for a mature person they would understand this, that the canon goes two ways. There is what people will pay for and are enjoy. That's one goal. And what is being produced by the company and legally recognized as the official works. That's the other goal. Remember, in both cases, it's about what you're willing to spend and what you can get from people willing to spend money on your product. So thanks for joining me on this small diatribe and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.